You don't want to be known as that RV jerk. I know we don't. And, I, <laughs> and sometimes, you know, when you start new, you don't know things. In this video, we are going to cover some mm -hmm. RV etiquette but it's not gonna be the typical ones that you normally hear, so stay tuned. If you've watched our videos or any of our vlogs, you know we're big fans of Cracker Barrel camping, free camping, so the first one has to do with that. If you're going to stay at a place of business for free overnight stay, you wanna call ahead and make sure, number one, that you're allowed to do it, and number two, that you patron that business. Whenever we go to Cracker Barrel, we always call that specific one because right. you never know if depending on the location they're at if they're going to have room we also do a google earth search so we can see an overhead shot and see they will have the cracker barrels if you don't know if they allow rvs they're going to have designated rv spots and just make sure that we can get in and out with no problem and especially walmart's some walmart's have but we have a walmart by our home mm -hmm. there's no rv parking there so you gotta be really careful with those but another thing too is when you're there even if you're introverted, which we kind of are, mm -hmm. if we go in and make a purchase yep. or if we're at a harvest host, we try to talk to the people, but you want to just show your gratitude in some way. When you stay at these places of business, it's usually one night stay. It's not to set up camp. Now, depending on where you're at, I know like Cabela's over in Hamburg, PA, it's huge. Very common people open their slides, but it's, it's enormous. There's trucks right. there. There's right. no right. problem. But if you're at a tight parking spot, you probably don't want to open up your slide. So that's... Oh, I was literally just about to say, guys, stay to the end of the video to see if I make it through without tripping over a rock or <laughs> completely wiping out. There you go. And we go on. So, yeah, you want to just uh, keep that in mind. The second thing that we've seen, and this one is, I guess, a little more annoying, just people setting up camp, like putting out chairs, their barbecuers. <laughs> It's like, come on, it's an overnight <laughs> thing. Just, you're there to dump, if they have a dump station, fill up, patron that business, and then just get on with your day. Right, this is a big one, and this has a lot to do with respect. If you have a reservation, really any campground, but we've seen it a lot at state parks, county parks, things like that. If you have to cancel, call and cancel. Or if you're unsure if you're gonna be able to use it, don't hang on to that site because somebody else may need to use it. So if you know that you're not gonna be there, make sure that you call so this way somebody else can take advantage of the site. Like MJ said, I think every state park we've been to, we've seen sites that have not, they say reserved, nobody ever shows right, up. Right, the sheet is there with the name on it, but there's And no that kind of screws somebody else yeah. because camping, is quite expensive and still affordable in those state and county campgrounds. So if you're not gonna show up, let them know. Now, obviously there's emergencies, you know, we're not saying if something happens and you can't go because something happens, that's fine. But I think a lot of people do that whole reserving thing just to make sure they have something and then they just don't go. So the next one's going to be leave a review. Now you'll often see negative reviews when you go to campgrounds, but if you like the place, leave a positive review. Let them know at the front office, hey, you guys did a great job. Because that's how many of us, and I'm sure you guys, find places that you want to stay. You may see videos or things like that. But I know when I'm researching a business or a place to go, I immediately go to Google and look up the business. urgent care visits it's good no broken bones all right next one guys this drives me crazy and i know a lot of you it probably drives you crazy as well when you show up to a campground and you look at the beautiful site you look in the firing and there's just garbage in the firing either just papers or bottles or like old cigarette butts or things yeah, that, like that that's gross i know like clean up clean up after yourself and again we're probably preaching to the choir because all of you that are watching you probably do these things but if you don't think okay maybe i should start doing this to try to be a little bit more conscious of the people around you. So the next one is a pretty important one. If you have a full hookup site and you're going to dump your black tank, everybody knows what that experience is like. Everybody knows what it smells like. Yes. If your neighbor is out, just give them a heads up. Now, if they choose to still be there, then that's on them. But just let them, hey neighbor, I'm gonna dump just, you know, if you wanna enjoy it then you can enjoy it if not you know we'll be done in a couple of minutes we had somebody when we went to vermont mm -hmm. that he came out to he dump did. and he we were out there eating actually at our picnic table and he said something like i'm you know I'm planning i'm dumping i'll wait till you guys are done 
that that's really nice of people to think of others that way. The next one is to keep your campsite cleaner than when you arrive there. And yes, we've heard this one before, but I think it bears reminding because the camp hosts that are there and people that own the campground, yes, their job is to get the site ready for the next person, but that doesn't mean like a full cleaning of all people's garbage <laughs> just left it there that now we experienced this oh, yeah. in new york and i was i was annoyed oh we were so angry because we actually saw one of the camp staff the campground staff having to clean up after there were piles and piles of garbage that right. people left because it was a huge group there was probably 10 to 15 adult age males and the dumpsters were within 400 feet yep. of where they were and they just felt that they were going to leave piles of garbage it, it looked like it like if you ever been to New York City, like at night when all the restaurants put their garbage out, right. that's what it looked like yeah. in the middle of a yeah. campground. Disgusting, really uncalled for. Maybe they didn't know. Hopefully they watched this video, but don't be that person. Don't don't have other people cleaning up after you. You want to keep it clean while you're there, and you want it more clean than when you arrived when you leave. The next one is a sore spot for a lot of people I know. We see it in a lot of forums. Is about barking dogs in RVs when people leave their RV and the dogs are inside barking non-stop and a lot of people will say well I don't know what to do I'm really focusing on not falling here guys with this beautiful hiking trail but I'm trying not to kill myself they don't know what to do when they leave and their dog is barking what you're going to want to do is to tune into our channel tomorrow night we have a very informative video for you that will help with this issue with, along with a lot of other ones leaving a barking dog in an RV is really inconsiderate for your neighbors and for anybody that's just walking past or trying to enjoy themselves. The last one, and we've seen this has happened to us, we've seen both the good side and the bad side, is if you have kids or grandkids, make sure they're respecting other people's property and their RV site. Hang on to me. <laughs> Don't pull me down. <laughs> so when we're up in Vermont at the campground, we'll link that video up above. That was probably some of the nicest kids we've ever seen at a campground. They were being kids, amazing. they were playing, riding the bike, but super nice, well-mannered, respectful, respecting other people's property. Yeah. On the flip side, you wanna talk about one particular New Jersey campground we've been to, we this, won't name it. Yeah, this was a couple years ago in Northern New Jersey. By the way, how many of you right now are rooting for me that I fall down? I know <laughs> that people are like, I cannot wait to see this. But anyway, we were at this campground and there were kids. Jason was there, we had some friends over. He was over. much younger. Yeah, a few years younger. We had friends over that had kids. And these kids kept coming around our RV, which is fine. I mean, kids play together, mm -hmm. but they kept trying to, st I think they were having like Nerf gun fights and they kept trying to steal our guns. They were just really obnoxious. Gun, and just, just being really, I guess obnoxious is the best word to say. So yeah, there was a big difference between the kids in Vermont and those kids. So, sure. so what we're trying to say, don't, don't be the parent of those kids. And yeah. if you are, if you know your kids are a little more active than just, <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you know where they're, what they're doing and where they're at. In the comments below, let us know which of these drive you crazy as well. Are there other ones that are not so typical, but, you know, in a lot of the videos, we've done videos, but we haven't mentioned these, ones that drive you crazy. And if you are an offender, did this help you turn around a little? And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, we'll put our RV campground reviews playlist, because we have some pretty awesome ones. And I didn't fall. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.